hi welcome back guys today i am back with another new video in this video i will discuss with very interesting sql problem so please watch this video at the end you learn lots of things so basically few days back i have to post on the community like which are dbms i have to use to make the next video so many of them uh, given the like uh, community poll i have to use my sql so basically in this video i have to give the demo how you play, um, how you can solve this type of problem in my sql so first discuss the question question is the write a sql query to find the count the number of players that log in for at least two consecutive days starting from first login date and then divide that number by the total number of player so basically i have one activity table in the activity table in the entire data set i have total three columns player id device id and event date the question is the find the count the number of player that log in in the for the at least two consecutive days okay so in basically you can see that for the player id i have basically total three players player id one two and three so player id play with the device id and event date is the like first december 2024 and player id again play second december 2024 so this player id come into the output now go with the player id 2 only played only one hour, one uh, event in the 5th december so this will not come into the output because i have to find the minimum two consecutive days okay now go with the player id 3 so player id 3 plays two event first is the 7 7 december and second one the 9 december so i have basically i have total player is the three unique player and only one player id play only two consecutive days so here you can see that my expected output is the consecutive count is a one okay for player id one and total unique player is the three so i'll getting the percentage of the one divided by three equals 33.33 percent so let's start the video how we can solve this type of problem first run this in the activity table so here you can see this is my entire database data set okay so first i have to find the distinct count okay i'll show you that so I first i have to count distinct count how many distinct players are there okay so i have to use distinct distinct player id distinct player id and i have to count the distinct count count I have to use as total count player total count player so in this uh, in, in this query I will get the total distinct player is the three okay so this I have to make a CT with distinct player distinct or we can say the total player total player total player i have to make on the ct okay so here we can see with uh, total player as i have to use the in this ct i will get the total unique player is the three okay so i have to use again select star from activity table select star in the activity table okay so here you can see the play id play is the first event first december and second is the second december so i have to using the lead function i have to check the next event date is one or not okay i'll show you that star and i have to use lead function okay lead and i have to which function which uh, column i have to use i have to column as column name is event underscore date and i have to use over partition by partition by partition by player id because i have total three player so player id one is the one partition player id two is the second partition and player id three is the third partition okay and i have to use order by order by also event event underscore date i have to give as next date next event okay next event so if i run this query so here you can see that i will get the next event so here you can see for play id one uh, first play is the first december second is the two, second december so i'll get the next december is the second december after that no event are there so i'll getting none so for the play id two only play only one event so next is the null 
प्ले आई डी प्ले प्ले आई डी थ्री इज द प्ले टू इवेंट फर्स्ट इज द सेवन डिसंबर सेकेंड इज द नाइन डिसंबर आई गेट द नाइन डिसंबर सो आई हैव टू सब टैक्ट नेक्स्ट इवेंट माइनस दिस इवेंट आई चेक द वन और नॉट ओके सो आई हैव टू मेक एस सी टी सी टी एस सी टी एस सिलेक्ट आई हैव टू यूज अगेन सिलेक्ट सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम फ्रॉम सी टी एंड आई हैव टू यूज डेट डेट डिव फंक्शन डेट डिव फंक्शन आई हैव टू चेक द डेट डिफरेंस सो आई हैव टू पास द टू कॉलम नेक्स्ट इवेंट माइनस इवेन अंडर स्कोड डेट इवेन अंडर स्कोड डेट एंड आई हैव टू चेक दिस डेट माइनस दिस डेट इक्वल्स टू वन और नॉट ओके डेट डिप and i have to check the this condition first i have to run this ct so here you can see that for for play id 1 i will get the 1 because the play id 1 played first event is the first december second is the second december so this is the consecutive so i will getting the 1 and i have to check only this uh, where date diff equals to this one is 1 so i have to use i have to copy that and i have to use the where condition where this equals to 1 so if i use this condition i will getting only this row so i'll show you that so if i run this query so here you can see i will get the date div as a 1 and i have to use here count function how many uh, player are there who played the consecutive uh, days match so i have to use count star as consecutive plate match plate consecutive match plate so if i run i will get only one so here you can see consecutive match play is one now i have to use one more ct for this output comma ct1 as this to close and i have to use this ct i need this ct in this ct i will getting the output as a one and in this total player i'll getting the total player as a 3 so i have to use select star from total player total player comma ct1 ct1 i'll get the 2 ct2 column so here you can see that total count player is the 3 and consecutive match play is the 1 so i have to use here comma consecutive match play so i have to use the name as consecutive match play consecutive match play divided by this one as a total count player i have to use the here so if i run this query so here you can see that i will get the 0.33 so i have to use multiply by 100 so i will get the 33.33 and i have to use here round round as a 2 as as what i have to give as percentage so if i run this query i will get the expected output so here you can see that total player count is a 3 consecutive match play is the 1 i'll getting the percentage is a 33.33 percentage so i hope in this video you understand how you can solve this type of problem if you like this video please hit the like button If you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye